Hey guys, welcome back to another Wego Star Wars Toy 16 set review. Guys, this time we have the Carbon Freezing Chamber. It's in there is 75137. It's ages 7 to 12 and up. It has 231 pieces. It gets retailed for $24.99 or $25 US dollars. Now guys, this set here is a set that every that we've all that everybody that's collects Wego Star Wars sets. We've been waiting for something like this for years. Because the last time we ever gotten a Cloud City set was back in 2002, so we've been waiting for another Cloud City set forever, for like a long period of time, for over 10 years, and we finally get another Cloud City set, which is a, this part of Cloud City is iconic to episode 5 specifically, because this is the carbon freezer chamber where Darth Vader, Boba Fett, the Ognos, everything that occurs in Hoth, they, after they capture Leia, Chewie, Chewbacca, and Han Solo, they take him to this carbon freezing chamber and they carbon freeze Han Solo into the. Into, you guys know what I'm trying to say. He got carbon frozen, he, he got frozen, and all that, he got carbon freeze. And then. The reason why he got carbon freeze was because Boba Fett. This guy ends up taking him to Jawa's palace on Tatooine because he was wanted for ransom by Jabba the Hutt himself because he did go and pay him. <laughs> yeah, Hot Sauce keeps, keeps exploring that throughout the, the fifth movie that he needs to go and pay Jabba, but <laughs> he keeps getting distracted by the rebels and he keeps wanting that. Oh, he keeps end up, ends up helping him in the end. <laughs> He yeah, has on there why he <laughs> stay with the rebels, but he has to stay with the rebels anyway. So <laughs> that's how that ends. <laughs> that's how this story ends up. <laughs> and so overall, this is a great set. To be honest, this is a great set. This is also a the, the room where the duel between Bear and Luke Skywalker episode five begins. Luke enters the carbon freezing chamber and he finds Vader at the top of the uh, uh, at the top of the stairs, just staring down at him, greeting him with his. You may not be. A, he, 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 you got Jedi yet. You may be strong in the Force, Luke, but you're not. You're, you're, but you're not Jedi yet. And Luke comes up the stairs, and you know what happens. He and that's just what I say, right? Very nice as they do their epic sword fight, episode five of the Empire Strikes Back. Which ends kind of tragically because, well, Luke doesn't die, uh, which is good. <laughs> but Barry tells him, tells him that he is his father and all that, and Luke loses his hand. <laughs> Just like Anakin, FYI. <laughs> Man, a lot of stuff, a lot of big time scenes happen in this room, <laughs> in, in this carpet freezing chamber. And so, you can use this set for many different things, not just for this part particular scene right here with Hasso, Boba and the Ocknots and the Carver Freezing ch Chamber Hunt and Carver Freezing Hasso piece, but you can also use this, if you get like multiples of this, you can make it the whole entire circle and you can make the scene between Luke and Vader as well, so that's pretty cool. But you have to get more than one of these though to do that, if you want to make a box or something. So. Overall, then we get four main figures, uh, but technically three because there Lego is including this carbon freezing hostel it, as a main figure. I kind of do as well, but I don't. But I don't as well. So it's kind of a neither for me. It, you know, it's in between for me for calling for calling this a main figure. But I'll call this as a main figure for this review for the sake of, the, of this review. And so you get Boba Fett. Which is very very close to the ball that we got in the UCS Slave 1, but it's not the exact one. The only difference is that he does have prey in the arms, and there's a little tight, tight spot on his torso, his right torso, that is different. But, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when we get to the main figure part of the review. We'll take a very look at Boba Fett, and we get Han Solo, which is not new, we've gotten this Han Solo before. We got this Han Solo in the UCS Slave 1, and in the... Jawa's Palace set from 2012, so he's not new. But this one here is exclusive to the set, and the set only is the Ocknot. This is the first time we ever got one of these guys as a Lego Star Wars baby figure. Yeah, I gotta say, they did a really good job of the head sculpt. Very, very detailed, very well done. That's for so pretty and everything. This is a great set for people that are fans with the original trilogy and everything. So, 
Let's get into the main figures, guys, and then the main build, then the final thought. So let's go. So guys, the first main figure I'm going to show you is Boba Fett in the new exclusive Ocknot main figure. And as you can see here, for Boba Fett, he's got some nice frame. And he's got his jetpack, and he's got his new quad cape that we get in the UCS Slave 1. Save Slave 1, and that's a detail in there, on that. And as you can see here, we take the helmet off. He's got his angry clone hat, as usual. He's got his little tear on the helmet. Then you can bend everything, move around everything. As you can see, he's got some nice detail on the helmet. As you can see on the torso, it's very, very detailed, very well done. And if you guys have to use it to like one in that full of friend if you're made figure from that set, you guys would know that this little symbol here, this little silver circle on the armor, that's part of the torso, is smaller on this one compared to the UCS full effect main figure where that, that symbol was larger and all that. And for the torso, if there's more bow damage to, to that ball of head than this one. So that's the major difference right there. And another major difference for this ball of head is that the blast he has, he has a different blaster. He has this blaster again. This is a blaster every hole plus the little black pistol blaster. They just put together everything simple as that. Play simple. Where the blaster from the UCS Wave so 1 had like a different piece. Hey, a few different pieces to make the blaster. So yeah, that's the full effect, guys. Now, if we take off the, you know, what, I'm not gonna take off the jetpack. <laughs> I, was, I was about to take off the jetpack. I was like, mm, you guys probably will need to see the back because here you, you guys probably already know uh, what the back looks like. It's pretty much the same exact torso as we got the uses twenty four style. I don't think I really need to show you guys that. So both effect quite simple. Not due to the set because we got this both effect before. And the only difference is uh, the only major, major difference is that you can really see it easily is that he gets to have this arm frame. So yeah, that's the only difference with this ball effect. But I'm not gonna cut this as a brand new minifigure because we got this ball effect before. And other sets like the UCS Blade One and the Desert Gift from 2012, if I don't recall. And so that's ball effect, guys. And here's the Ahna minifigure. And as you can see, this is a brand new exclusive to the set and the set only so far. For what we know, in probably being 2016, as you can see, he's got some very, very awesome detail on the head, especially the torso is very nice, very, very detailed. This guy's overalls, everything on, everything that's yeah, printed there. But what's really awesome is that it's the head sculpt for the Ocknot. Very, very impressed with the look of the head. He's got the nice white hair on the back, showing that he's old, everything. This guy's nice white beard right here. Is that as white as you think it would be? Because it's kind of, it kind of blends it with the tan color, so that's pretty cool. It's like he's got this little dodge and such, brown dodge all around him and everything. He's got this stern look and everything. Very, very nice. That is like a brand new mold for this set only so far. And so, that is full effect in the Octon main figures, guys. And let's get on to the last two main figures that come with the set. The Han Solo and Carbonite main figure and Han Solo. So, and then we'll get into the main build, and then the final thoughts. So let's go guys, let's get into the next two main figures. So guys, here's the other two main figures we get in the set here, is the Han Solo. It, this is pre pretty much what he looks like before he is frozen in Carbonite, which is the other main figure here. Han Solo in Carbonite. He's got his hands up everything, do this slant with his head, and he has his eyes closed, everything very very nice. Very very detailed. We got in the same exact mold before of him it froze that carbon gun. As you can see, it's got the clips on the inside where you can store Han Solo in there. That is one of the features to the set. In this, not the set only, my bad. <laughs> I was about to say, this set only. No, it's not the set only. <laughs> we got in this mold in multiple times before. We got him in the Jabba's Palace set. We got him in the Slave 1 from 2010, I recall. And we also got this wool, same exact wool in the UCS Slave 1 that came out last year in 2015. So we got this wool several times before, so you guys probably already most of you guys probably already have this wool. So yeah, this is not new because we got this far many, too many times before with Slave 1 and Jaws Palace. And this hot soul, this not have much of a difference here behind him. Just, there are no print on the back. Which is kind of odd. There's no print on the legs. It's just brown, you know, plain brown legs. 
This torso for a shirt, sure, what shirt, sure everything. Very, 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 very detailed. It, here's the hair piece, quite simple. And we got the head here, which is double side. Yeah, this uh, face here is identical to this one, so that's pretty cool. You just change the face from this one to this one, in case you guys want to put him inside this. And for this face here, he's just a little worried, stern looking, and everything. Very, very nervous, so, uh, afraid, <laughs> because he like, just got tortured by Darth Vader, so. <laughs> yeah, I would think he would be a little bit feared. <laughs> and so, those are the other two main figures, guys, Hostile and this Hostile and Carbonite. Not really new to the set because we've gotten these guys multiple times before. <laughs> we got both these main figures in the UCS Swave 1. We got them in the Swave 1 from 2010. If I if I remember right, <laughs> and we also got these two guys. I think in the Jaws Palace. I know we got this the Jaws Palace from 2012, but I don't, I don't remember if we got Han Solo in 2012. I really would think so because if we got this in that set, then I would think we got him in that set. <laughs> so let's get into the main goal, guys. The carpet freezer chamber, and then the box and the final box. So let's go, guys. So guys, here is the carpet phrasing chamber, the baby doll set. As you can see, it's very, very detailed everything. Nice detail on the lat of the stairs, nice detail on the surface everything. Pick it up for a few seconds, as you can see, there's a little control panel right there for controlling the freezing chamber, the main center part of the chamber. There's a little, there's a little elevator right here, it's just, just controlled by this little handle here. As you can see, it's not going to stay up, so... You, you just hold it up, it you, if you really want to keep it up, you just hold it up like that. If you let it go, it'll just fall back down. And what you can do is, we'll take this on that main figure, stick it right here, transform up to the surface, have him come over here, to control the chamber itself, and then we can have both Fat and Han Solo come out from the elevator or something like that. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> or you can have him be transported by Boba Fett up the stairs and then have him be right here have Boba Fett be right here <laughs> watching, hey <laughs> watching him get frozen in carbon just step right here and then for the feature of the freezing chamber this is a little interesting because if we take a look at the inside here this is a little trigger here a pull and it brings the whole thing down just to make it look like it's actually if Han Solo is being put in the freezer chamber. Now if you pull this back up real quick. Now this here has a little base here. It just took it off. It, it, it's easily, you can t t take this off easily. So you can help the mold piece stand up. And you can just stick it right back on the tiles right there. And then, so that's what it looks like with the mold piece on the chamber. And we, we can also turn around. But you got to pull it down to turn around. But as you can see, you can turn around. You, can, you guys can probably see this from here. You can probably you can rotate it as such. So it can make it look like here. You guys know what I'm talking about here. You guys probably know what I mean. You can have him walk up to this. Well, you know, like he's not look like literally walking up to that. But just imagine an an episode five movie where he just stands there and he's just being transported down and then. All this ash and such comes out from the sides to freeze them up and everything. And so, just pull it down. As I can see, all spray and such and so, uh, such and all that. It just rotate to the other side. Like that. And you push it right back up. Here. This little trigger right here, you just push this back up to make it come up. You just pull this down, we can go back down. Which is really, really cool. And so, there you have it. There's Han Solo, Frozen, and Carbonate. And ready for Boba Fett to be transported to Tatooine <laughs> by the orders of Lord Vader. <laughs> now, let's take a look at the back here. You guys can see the technic, te technical involvement in this uh, feature here. You guys can sort of see in there. It's pretty, much, it's pretty exposed, so you guys can really see what is going on in here. Very, very cool mechanism for the set. Very, very well done by Lego. By, in my opinion, and as you can see here, this part, whole part moves. It's just a clips where you can move it, so it's movable. This little lever here has a little table right here, 
so you can put Han Solo right down. Because you guys remember, after he got tortured, that the way I got tortured and everything, after Chewie got tor tortured and everything by the Imperials, they sent them in, they sent them in this. I don't know what they what where they were put it, but it was some sort of closet or bedroom or something. I'm not sure what it was, <laughs> but it was somewhere across the lake. <laughs> Let's just say that. And so, and there's that little table in her bed or whatever that that Chewie presses by and opens up everything and has Han lie down everything because he was in pain. He was like, I feel horrible. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much what he said in the movie. Like, that I feel horrible. <laughs> because the previous one very dead to himself. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so that's what this is here. Pretty interesting. That they have to put that in this set and not in the, like a cloth stage there or something like that. And if you guys are wondering, do the stairs move? Yes they do, they move. <laughs> if you want to move it, I wouldn't recommend moving them, but if you want to move them, they, they're made to move, so I don't really mind <laughs> if you guys want to move them. <laughs> like what the heck? Make it look like it's it, preparing to go over the year or something. <laughs> Is that really it, king and butt? <laughs> you want to what, make it do with that? You can. <laughs> So that is it for the carbon freezer chamber, guys. It's a small set with not that many features, but it's also a great set for the original trilogy fans because we have not gotten a cloud stage set in years. Like, where are we years? Because the last time we ever got a cloud stage set was in 2002, where it had like practically every single big scene in cloud stage during the Empire Strikes Back, like the dining room and the carbon freezer chamber. And um, that little balcony where Luke and Bear fought, and where Luke Bear told Luke that he was his father. And they also had the docking bay where the William, William Falcon went into, so that was pretty cool. That was a cool set. I do not have that set because on eBay and any other secondary market you can find or think of, it is first retailing for like $500 to like $1,000. Yeah, you guys heard that right. It's like retailing for like close to $1,000, so. <laughs> That's how popular that set was because that came with Lando Calrissian and it came with all the characters that were in Cross State, excluding the Arnauts because there were no Arnauts in that set. <laughs> but they had Bespin Guards, they had Lando Calrissian, they had Han Solo, they had Leia, they had Bayer, they had Stormtroopers, they had Boba Fett, they had Luke. So they had the Frozen in Carbon Han Solo built uh, uh, it, because back then. The house of Carbon and Mayfair was just a big brick. It was just a tall gray brick with a, with a printing of Han Solo and Carbon. And so they, went, they came a long way and changed that to this, which is a lot more detailed and nicer. <laughs> and so, yeah. Cost a set. Oh man, and they, it's been too long since the last time we ever got a cost a set. And so. I, I, we're all hoping, because there's been rumors for the past couple of years that we, we will be getting a UCS Cloud City set soon. I'm not sure where we'll get that, because it hasn't been fully official. It, it, it's not fully official to get by Lego, if we'll be getting one. Because we'll be getting a hot, like a UCS Echo Base in the next couple of months, so from in 2016. And, um, I don't really know if we're getting a cloud stage set or not because we're gonna be going farther into the newer trilogy of Star Wars movies for A9, Rogue One, and the anthology films of Han Solo, Boba Fett. So I don't know if we get a Han Solo, like a, not Han Solo, a cloud stage UCS set or not. It's a possibility, but there has also been rumors of a UCS Death Star set coming back. So I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. But so far. This is a great set for first A by the well, the original trilogy, and especially the Empire Strikes Back because it for anybody who collects Lego Star Wars sets, basically, it, it doesn't really matter if you collect prequel stuff or not. You may want to have a cross A set because we never got a cross A set in years. This is the first time we ever got a cross A set since 2002. <laughs> so yeah. So this is a great set to get, I highly recommend, re recommend it, and so let's get out to the box and the final thoughts of this set overall and also awesome review. So let's go guys! So here's the box guys, as you can see, the box is the average $25 set box, very very thick as well. 
as you can see, you get the Kyle Ren logo, the Lego Star Wars logo, and actually, you don't even get the Disney logo on this box, which is kind of odd. <laughs> it was probably just a misprint or something, because usually it'll be down here, but it's not showing up down there, so it's just probably a misprint. <laughs> so I probably got like a box for the misprint, misprint on it, so <laughs> it's kind of awkward. <laughs> As you can see here, you get the Mayfinger selection flying right here. All four Mayfingers, you get the set. You get the set of mission on the side. Eight. And you get the little action scene right here with the, the carbon freezing chamber uh, and background uh, with the carbon freezing chamber actually. That's what the background is. <laughs> and so that's the front of the box. So go to the back here. I'm just backing over this box. <laughs> this is not the first time I knocked over the box. So. <laughs> As you can see here, you here's a little, here's a big hologram, transposed picture of the freezing chamber it, with one book it, it, from the uh, from upper view, and that's it. And as you can see here, we can hear the weapon selection. You only get bullet fest blaster as the weapon. And here's all the nasty features for the set here. Got the little control panel and everything, and the movable surfaces, the movable floor piece part of the build. Get the little where you can actually see how to lie down on there, the little elevator, the movable freezing chamber part. And as you can see here, here's a little action scene of both of the Ahnak transporting Han Solo Carbonite to his ship called Swipe One. So they both have to take him to Tatooine, to Jabba. This is the other action scene here, where both has coming up the stairs and the Ahnak's coming up the ladder to freeze Han Solo Carbonite, which he's already ready to be frozen so <laughs> so it just see here how could have just ran away okay <laughs> it could have just ran off <laughs> because there's someone guarding him <laughs> and so that's it for the box guys and so let's get on to the final thoughts of this review overall in the set it's tough. so let's go guys so overall guys the carbon freezing chamber set it's a great set to have, it, the price is perfect, $25, definitely worth it, because we have not gotten, it, it, it probably doesn't even matter if it has that many features, features or not, it's probably just going to be, we're probably, we're probably all going to be just heavy enough to even get a, a cloth city set again. <laughs> it's probably not going to even matter about the detailing or the <laughs> features, or even the main features, because, it's a, I'm just happy, this is my personal opinion, I'm just happy not that we got another cost save set. <laughs> I don't really care what many features it comes with. I don't even care what features it even comes with. I'm just happy not that we just have a cost save set again. Because it's been years and years since we got another one. Since we got the, the last one. And so, I'm just happy enough that we got another cost save set, to be, to be honest with you. <laughs> I would have paid 100 bucks if I needed to, just to have another cost save set. <laughs> and so, if you guys are really, really caring about the main figures and the features, it's got a good amount of features to it for what we get. It's got a lot. Of, it's got great main figures in it. Not all of them are new. A lot of them we've gotten before multiple times, but one in particular main figure that we never gotten before ever is an Ahnak, which is great to have because you see them in the Clone Wars TV series when with the Sedo arc when they when Obi Wan, Anakin, Ahsoka, Koei, Rex, they, they get frozen carbon guys. So they wouldn't be detected by the separator so while trying to land on the player where the, where the Citadel was. So yeah, this is it. Empire Star Trek was not the only time period we saw Ahnax used at the freezing chamber. Use a freezing chamber. So yeah, you see him in the Clone Wars. So that's pretty cool. And so I gotta say, I gotta rate this set a 10 out of 10 rather than or even a, a 12 out of 10. <laughs> because this is a great set. It, it, it is really a great set. It's got nice detailing to it. It wake has got a very awesome job with the features and the build and everything. Got great made figures and everything. And so, great price, everything. Perfect. This set is perfect for what it is. It was trying to represent. It's perfect for a Luke vs. Vader box. You, you guys get more than one, but it's great for just that scene as well. Not just for the, the scene that's, for, that's showing right now, but for Luke vs. Vader itself. So, and by the way, guys, a lot of people, we, we, when we first heard of this set coming out back in December, I don't remember when we first heard about these sets, but back way then, we first we, we thought we were going to get like a Lando Calrissian minifigure. 
I thought that as well. I thought that could be a great possibility for a Lando Calrissian main figure, but we never got one. But when I first, when I first heard that we were going to get one, and that started to make me think, maybe we are going to get a UCS cost save set with Lando in. But it has not been officially called out yet by Lego, so we're not sure right now for the time being, but for May 2016. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But hopefully we'll get another <laughs> cost save set. After this one, yeah, yeah, like a UCS set with the hair, with the whole thing, everything that would be pretty cool. That would be awesome. And so that's gonna be it, guys. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Lego Star Wars 2016 set review. So have a great day, guys. Bye.